So we're rolling in hot on another fiber laser install. And uh, I'm at a place where it's not even on a GPS. Way back in the back country back here. And uh, you never know when you're pulling into a place like this. If you're at the right place or, you know, is this where you're supposed to be? But these people want this machine installed and that's what I'm here to do. So, you know, we're going to try to find it and get on it. But one of the first indications that you'll know you're at the right place is when you see a random industrial sander machine just abandoned shoved off to the side I think we're at the right place what's up guys welcome back to another fiber laser installation this time we are at strong oaks woodworks in front royal virginia and uh, this time it's going to be a 2000 watt ori five by ten open machine and uh pretty excited to get this one going just showing you some of the products that these guys make here they uh have uh really had their business take off and are doing extremely well and you can see by some of the pieces here that you know why just some super nice unique cool looking rough sawn old growth um reclaimed oak and uh, just just beautiful products that they're making with a with a really cool look. So here you see the machine. This is going into a new facility for them that's uh, you know kind of still under construction. The electrical was uh, still being installed, and um, this one went extremely well. You know some of these laser installs, you know there can be any number of problems that can come up, but this one was super smooth overall. Oh, it's underneath the others. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's good. Good. Leave just a little bit of slack on them. There we go. Got it? Yep. So there wasn't really a lot to film on this one, you know, as far as the setup, because as I said, it went super smooth and fast. And, you know, before you know it, we had the machine ready to run. And um, you, know, you see the guys loading some, some material here. And I think we started off cutting some oxygen. I want to say maybe eighth inch or quarter inch. Uh, don't remember. We didn't have the air compressor running on the first couple of days. And then uh, uh, we got the, fi the, the plumbing and all that done and got it ready to, to run uh, later in the video. Anything wrong? <laughs> oh my shutters on. Okay. Wait. Okay. So what you want to do? For so this actually is some eighth-inch steel here, and it's actually cutting with nitrogen. Again, we didn't have the air compressor going the first couple of days, and we ran through a couple of tanks of uh, of nitrogen. If you're new to this. You know, uh, the nitrogen and compressed air, the parameters are very similar. You know, so if you dial something in with nitrogen, it's going to work and be pretty close to what your compressed air settings will be. You may have to tweak it just a little bit. And you saw that drawing kind of skipped a little spot in the outside there. Um, just working through some CAD uh, things and, you know, uh, making the files ready to, to cut here on the, on the laser. So you're looking at Mike standing there with the gray shirt on operating the laser at this time. He's actually my contact and the owner of Strong Oaks Wood Shop. And uh, about eight years ago, I think he started this business in his backyard, you know, kind of as a hobby. And then uh, some years back, it was, got into a position where he could uh, do this full time. And then now he's grown it into a pretty serious operation with several employees and just uh, really busting at the seams with business. So they 
I think about three years ago, they incorporated, started incorporating metal into their products. Before that, they were exclusively wood. And um, they were not happy recently with the lead times on all of their metal components. And so they uh, decided to bring it in house and get this laser going. Yeah, so this is a product that they make and commonly install. It's a base for a post that gets bolted into the concrete. And uh, I suggested that we um, add a witness mark here with engraving to locate the uh, steel tube that gets welded to it. Obviously, this would be a candidate for, you know, like a tab and slot fit if they had a tube attachment or a tube laser, but they don't. So, you know, this is a good quick way to make the fit up for welding a lot easier. I love getting a chance to go to and visit these, you know, kind of places and, and shops and organizations like this where you can see the organic growth, you know, where it's one building and then another building gets added. And then you can see the big one in the back right back there. That's where the laser uh, is installed and is a new building for them. So just a little at a time, keep building, keep rolling the profits forward. And the next thing you know, it'll be more than you can handle. You can hear that laughter from uh, Mike in the background. He just uh, could not contain his excitement. And guys, I, I can show you all this stuff in videos over and over again, but it does not do justice to watching one of these things move in person, especially if you've struggled with other CNC machines or plasma table or something like that. Uh, these things are just an absolute dream to watch and run. And, and uh, they have their own problems and challenges. Don't get me wrong, they're not perfect, but compared to struggling with a the laser, they're, they're a dream.
Go ahead and pause it. slow it down just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild watching it follow that like that. Uh, so we'll figure we should probably slow it down.